Joining us for this challenging expedition would be our old friend, Roberto Plomp. Very confident. Oh. See you in this, this section of the trip is all about getting back to basics. We're leaving, right now, we're leaving behind, I guess, the modern world. On this wide section of river, we pass many signs of industry. The wealth of the rainforest being carted out of the jungle on barges. And soon enough, we came across a huge abandoned logging company. Having threatened 10% of this country's forest, they'd lost their license due to international pressure. Now, in an ironic twist, the machinery has been reclaimed by nature. So this is the Guyanese village of Oriello perched on the bank of the quarantine, on this beautiful bend in the river. As the days pass, we headed deeper into the forest. The jungle core is broken only by the drone of our engine. With the river traffic now far behind us, troops of howler monkeys dared to venture close to the water's edge. Further upstream, we saw signs of the obstacles to come in the form of froth on the water. This was just a foretaste, one that in no way prepared us for the struggle that lay ahead. A barrier much unchanged since it defeated Sir Walter Raleigh in 1597 as he searched for El Dorado, the Wanatobo Falls. And this is where we've got to get out of the boat because obviously we can't take it over here. And we've got to spend three days, or so we're told, dragging all of our belongings and the boat through the forest. We're going to see if we can find somewhere to camp and then come back in the morning and somehow get up to the next section of the river. Wow. 